In this quick video, I'm just going to add on to what I've already shown regarding the two-step cluster analysis. But what I'm going to do is show you how to make a visual comparison of all the clusters. So here's how you do it. You go to Analyze, Classify, Two-Step Cluster, just like before. I have some restaurant data. This is uh, nutrition information on burgers. I'm going to have these three calories, total fat and sodium, be my clustering variables. In my options, I'm going to do nothing here. This looks good. Continue. In my output, I'm going to have a couple evaluation fields, such as protein and restaurant. Again, uh, just as I stated in my other video, the clustering algorithm will not use these two variables to create the clusters, but it will allow us to then evaluate the clusters uh, based on these two variables, or evaluate these two variables based on the clusters. So I'll include those. You don't need to create a membership number for this. So I'm going to uncheck that, hit continue. I'm going to use Euclidean, and I'm going to specify three. Um, just to make this interesting, I'm going to specify four different clusters. And I'll hit OK. It's going to come up with this very uninformative thing. If you double click it, then you get this bigger, more informative thing. and I've shown how to do several things in here, but one thing I haven't shown is how to visualize all of the clusters and compare them simultaneously. What we'll do is we'll go down to View, instead of Model Summary, go to Clusters, and then what you want to do is go to Display, and display the evaluation fields, Protein and Restaurant, like I talked about before. That'll make them show up here. And if you click on the top of a column, it'll show how each variable pans out for each cluster. So we see that for cluster one, these are mostly from McDonald's, and if you're looking at the averages, they fall below average in terms of fat, calories, sodium, and protein. Now we can do the same for a different cluster, or if you hold if you click on the first cluster and then hold shift and click on the last cluster, you can look at them all together. Or if you want, you can deselect one or two of them, just look at you know, clusters one and three or something like that. I want to look at all of them for a second. Here we are. It looks like cluster four, let's look at cluster four, which is green, that those are the most fattening, highest calories, highest amount of sodium, and highest protein. And they're from Chipotle, mostly. In fact, 83% of the burgers found in this category or in this cluster are from Chipotle. So you have been warned. Um, now, a lot of the burgers from cluster three are also from Chipotle. Uh, in fact, 75% of them are. And this blue, so these are sort of the next highest. So also most fattening, most calories, a lot of sodium, but not as much sodium as some of the burgers from McDonald's. My guess is these are the burgers that have bacon in them. And then we can see just how everything compares. Very cool. One more thing. If you'd like to copy this and paste it out into a Word document or PowerPoint or something like that, it's not super intuitive. You can either use a screen clipping tool, like I usually do, um, or you can go up to Edit and then Copy Auxiliary, auxiliary View. This will copy the screen over here, this frame. The main view is this frame. So if I hit Copy Auxiliary View and go over to a Word document, I can just paste it in there, and there you have it. That's all.